You can observe the hills, the mountains, the river, the sh valleys, the shadows, the lovely trees, and the marvelous cloud with full of light and glory beyond the mountains. To look at it without a word, without comparing. But it becomes much more difficult when you look at your neighbour, at your wife, your husband, your another person. There you are already got the images established, and it becomes much more difficult to observe your wife, your husband, your neighbour, your politician, your priest, whatever it is, absolutely without an image. Just to observe. And you will see when you so observe, so clearly see, the action becomes extraordinarily vital. Therefore, it becomes a complete action which is not carried over the next minute. You are meeting this. You understand? One has problems, not sleeping well, quarrelling with wife, you know, problems, deeply, superficially. And we carry these problems from day to day. Dreams, uh, the repetition of these problems, the repetition of fear, pleasure, problem over and over and over and over again, that obviously stupefies the mind, makes the mind dull, brain too. Now, is it possible to end the problem as it arises? You understand? Not carry it over. I have a problem. Somebody has insulted me. Hmm? I'm taking a silly problem. At that moment, the old brain responds instantly. Right? Saying you're also. Now, before the old brain responds, to be aware of what the man or woman has said, uh, something which is unpleasant, to have an interval between what he has said and the response of the old brain, to have a gap. You understand this? So that the old brain is, is responding slowly. Doesn't immediately jump into the battle. So, if you watch during the day the movement of thought in action, thought is action, and if you watch that and you realize that it is breeding problems. And problems are something which are incomplete, which had to be carried over. But if you watch that with a brain that is fairly quiet, then you will see action becomes instantaneous. So there is no carrying over of a problem. You, you got this? No carrying over the insult or the praise or something, you know, problem. Carrying over the next minute. It's finished. So when you go to when, the, when there is sleep, the brain is no longer carrying on the old activities of the day, it has complete rest. 
right? And therefore the brain then being quiet in sleep, that takes place. Not only rejuvenation of the whole structure in itself, but a quality of innocency comes into being. Because only the innocent mind can see what is true, right? Not the complicated mind, not the philosopher, not the priest, not the brain that is constantly repetitive, mechanical. Innocent mind is the brain as well as the body, the mind, the whole, whole entity, not ent- the whole being, not even the being, it's that whole thing in which the body, the heart, the brain, the mind, the whole of that, if, you do, if there is this, pro- this alertness, watchfulness during the day, And when there is sleep, there is a certain quality of innocency that happens. And it is only this innocent mind, which has never been touched by thought, it's only such an innocent mind that can see what is truth, what is reality, if there is something beyond measure. That is meditation, not all the phony stuff. Therefore, to find, to come upon this extraordinary beauty of truth with its ecstasy, you must lay lay the foundation The foundation is the understanding of thought which breeds fear and sustains pleasure. The understanding of order and therefore virtue. And therefore the freedom from all conflict and aggression and brutality, violence. That is the foundation, without that you can play tricks. And what you will have are the tricks of the conjurer. But once one has laid this foundation on freedom, then there is this sensitivity which is supreme intelligence. And from that the whole life one leads becomes entirely different.